Jane Finkenbein, Teen Program Director at the YMCA in Racine, states that there are many viable resources available for the youth of Racine. We have programs where kids can just come in, use sports, play basketball. We have, uh, we're going to start game nights where Xbox tournaments here at the Y. So we're always looking for new ideas, um, but for right now, those are the programs we offer. Besides the YMCA, there are other youth recreational options in Racine. But the question still remains, are there enough to keep up with the demand of those children in the middle school age bracket? We go to the Racine community now for their opinions. Do you think that Racine offers enough activities for middle school aged kids? Absolutely. Definitely not. Absolutely not. No, I don't think so. Do you think Racine offers enough activities for the middle school aged kids? I think they need a safe place to go and just be kids, and I don't think that there's that around and that opportunity is available for the kids. I think there needs to be a lot more activities to keep kids out of trouble. Um, I would say enough for like her age, but as far as the older, like the high schoolers, upper middle school, I think we need to do more because there's not enough things, and with things being cut, they don't have anything else to do. You know, I'm not sure about that because Racine still has problems, so they might need a few more structured activities or at least some place for youth to go. I think uh, Racine could do a lot more. Uh, back when I was growing up we had an outdoor pool. We don't have any today. I think we could do a lot more to have our youth to find some outside activities and really develop you know, positive interests in the community. We have community centers, we have youth groups at churches, we have Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and the YMCA. So we have a lot of different things available here in our own community. I think that there's a lack of positive, structured activities. I think there are a lot of youth activities that take place that are not positive. I think that we do a very poor job of publicizing the activities that are available. Middle schoolers is maybe getting a little bit tough because a lot of the activities are kind of centered around younger kids. Once you get up to the 8th, ninth, and 10th grades, maybe it gets a little bit short unless you're in the actual high school activities if you make the teams. The school district also provides uh, a lot of neat things. Uh, you know, middle school intramural sports, uh, the music program. You know, if you're if you're a band musician and you want something to do in the summer, we've got Lighthouse Brigade. Do you think that Racine offers enough activities for its youth? No, I don't. I think that we all need to um, try to find solutions to offering up more activities for our youth. And it's not just the adults that need to participate in this situation. It's also the young people that we need to hear from you to find out what you're looking to do, what you would like to do, how it can we can engage you more in our community also. With such a mixed reaction to the question, we need to look to other models for comparison. In the process of filming, we examined cities with roughly the same population size as Racine and looked to see what they offered in terms of middle-age youth recreation. Green Bay, Wisconsin is such an example. When thinking of youth recreation opportunities, one needs to think in terms of a full calendar year, including the hot days of July and August. Green Bay offers one of the most essential aspects of summer recreation, a community pool. Throughout our time filming in Green Bay, we never came across this pool looking anywhere near empty. People from all ages and ethnic groups enjoyed its pools, slides, playgrounds, and refreshment stands, especially the key demographic that we were focusing on, middle age youth. Baseball diamonds and a skate park also accompany the community pool in the surrounding area. Along with all these options, Green Bay also boasted a quaint and nostalgic amusement park called Bay Beach. When interviewed, many local youths along with parents had spent some part of their lives there. With a wide range of rides, the park caters towards the elementary age range, but is still enjoyed by those of the middle school age and older. Do you come here often? Uh, yes, I do. I've been coming here since I've been very, very young. I have a family picnic out here every Wednesday, once a year, every on a Wednesday. We always come out here, and I've been coming out here since I've been, like, a baby. Across from Bay Beach is yet another recreational facility, including go-karts, paintball, an arcade, and a mini golf course, all heavily used by the youth in the area. All of these areas combined ensure that kids of the middle school age bracket have something to do from spring to the end of fall, and more importantly, offer a range of options for recreation. After examining a city similar to the size of Racine, such as Green Bay, we again returned to our community for suggestions on how Racine could boast its options. 
What other types of activities do you think should be offered in the Racine area for middle school kids? I think more intramurals, more after school programs, uh, more homework help, that kind of thing. Well, I, th I think uh, expanding into other types of sports that are a little bit less mainstream. Um, I think they just need a nice, safe place where they can go and just hang out and be kids, maybe have like concessions and, and games and just a nice, safe place for them to go without always having to be like in a mall or at a restaurant or something like that. Uh, music, concerts, uh, that type of thing. Like a roller skating rink or somewhere kids can go and there's no crime, no shootings like drop-in centers that kids know if they don't have anything to do they can go there and have something to do also possibly uh, open gyms that the kids can vent and play basketball or do anything else that they really need to do well, I don't know I think um, I'd like to see at some point some sort of water park in Racine so that our kids don't have to travel so far. I think it would be nice if we had some more dances and social activities where you guys could get together as large groups as long as they're well chaperoned. In hearing the many interviews conducted and through extensive data collecting, the McKinley Middle Charter School documentary crew narrowed down their focus of interest to two possible sources for youth recreation, a dance club and a water park. By using the three concepts of sustainability, economy, equity, and environment, the crew begins investigating which option will prove to be the most sustainable solution for Racine. Data was collected from surveys conducted at the Racine Mall, asking people 18 and over whether they preferred the idea of a possible water park or dance club as a form of youth recreation. Out of 127 people surveyed, the results showed an overwhelming support for a water park. To confirm this data, we returned to our research to take a closer look at these two options and analyze this issue from both an adult and an adolescent viewpoint. How do you feel about the possibility of Racine building an outdoor water park for its youth during the summer? I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, of course, there'd be a lot of competition. I know that Great America has just opened a water park, and I know that Wisconsin Dells has water parks uh, by the dozens up there. But I think it would provide an opportunity for kids to have fun outside in the summer. It's been a long time since uh, the city of Racine had an outdoor swimming pool for summer activities. I think that's an excellent idea. I think that'd be a great idea, excellent idea. I think that would be awesome. I think what we're lacking in Racine are pools and, and something wonderful like a water park would be a great great asset. I, I think that would be great if they could do that and, and hopefully it wouldn't be a large fee to get in because um, there's a lot of people who don't have a lot of extra money so uh, it would be really great if they had some kind of a water park, um, big pool, kind of like the cool waters I guess in Milwaukee County. Um, that would be that would really be nice. I think it's a great idea and certainly would be something fun for not only young people to use but for families in the greater Racine area to use. Um, it would depend on exactly like where it was and how much it costs to go and I think there'd be a lot of things that I'd have to know before I would say yes, but I think it's a great idea. I think it'd be a great amenity to add to the city the quality of life and I'm sure it would attract people to the scene. As long as the, as long as the funding is there to, to accomplish that, uh, I think that's a great idea.